Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. For today's video, we'll be taking an up close and personal in-depth look at the 2016 Mercedes AMG C63S Coupe. In this review, we'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, take it on a thorough drive, and show you many of the unique aspects throughout the interior as well as exterior. Before I begin, I'd also like to extend a huge thanks and shout out to Atlanta Motorsports Park for allowing us to film at their facility today. For more information about the track and services offered, please feel free to check out their website provided in the description box below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on in, start her up, and let her run. This example is finished in selenite gray metallic and features a two-tone interior combo of black and platinum white Napa leather with Dynamica accents. A few other options you'll see here include the AMG Performance seats up front, red seat belts, and silver fiberglass trim. To start, all you have to do is just make sure you have the key fob within the interior, then simply put your foot on the brake and hit the dash mount a button to go. The C63 Coupe features speed-sensitive rack and pinion steering with electric power assistance. It's routed through a meaty flat-bottom three-spoke multifunction steering wheel. Typically wrapped in Napa leather with perforations across the sides, our tester features the optional performance wheel that swaps the perforations for Dynamica faux suede. The detailing is excellent with satin aluminum trim, grip bolsters, accent stitching, and a 12 o'clock band at the top. The AMG boasts a quicker steering ratio than a standard C-Class, leading to faster response and greater agility when combined with the AMG's specific front suspension and tuning. While similar in concept, the coupe differentiates itself over the sedan by offering wider front and rear tracks, new steering knuckles, a unique rear axle, wider tires, and more. AMG really honed in on giving the coupe more grip through the corners and higher handling limits. The C63's 14 to 1 steering ratio is not variable like the standard car for a more linear and predictable behavior. The steering takes about 2.5 turns to lock, while the turning circle is measured at 36.8 feet. With the C63S, you also receive dynamic engine mounts like what's available on the GTS. They're able to soften or stiffen as the car sees fit to reduce powertrain vibrations and maintain a comfortable ride that's still tight enough to carve through a corner with excellent body control. In other words, they lead to a more direct and precise steering behavior by minimizing the movement of the drivetrain and the need for corrections on turn-in. The steering effort firms or relaxes as needed based on the C63's drive modes. The AMG Dynamic Select Controller on the C63S includes four main modes, Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and Race, in addition to a user-programmed individual mode. With each advanced setting, the car adapts the steering, throttle response, exhaust, suspension, and traction control to vastly alter the car's behavior. Each mode has a surprisingly distinct feel, allowing you to go from daily driver to full-on track ready with just the push of a button. The three-mode electronically adaptive suspension helps maintain precision and agility through the corners when switched between Sport and Sport Plus, while yielding more compliant behavior in Comfort mode. As expected, Comfort is the least aggressive setting for daily use. Both the coasting feature and auto start stop system automatically activates while in Comfort for improved fuel economy. In Sport Plus and Race mode, you'll also notice engine idle speed pick up a bit. Selecting Race mode puts everything into their most aggressive settings, such as adapting the transmission and engine for track use. There are three settings for the stability control system, including on, ESP sport handling which activates in race mode, and ESP off. Of course, all these settings can be individually customized regardless of which mode you're in. For example, if you want to be in sport plus but don't want the ride to be so stiff, you can manually set it to comfort via the button in the center console. For true customization, there's the individual setting. This allows the driver to custom tailor all the various adaptive features to create a stored set of parameters that truly matches their driving style. 
The C63 Coupe delivers its power to the rear wheels through AMG's Speed Shift 7-speed multi-clutch transmission or MCT. A mechanical limited slip differential comes standard while the S model adds an electronically controlled unit to quicken the transfer of torque. Like your standard C-Class, the transmission is engaged by an electronic column mounted shifter. It's pretty simple to use, just press the brake and pull the column down for drive. Half a click up is neutral while all the way up puts the car into reverse. Press the little button at the edge of the stalk to place the car into park. A backup camera with adaptive guidance lines is standard along with front and rear parking sensors. Although similar to the previous C63 Coupe, the hardware and software for the transmission have been revised for the new model to deliver faster and more responsive shifts. The Coupe also benefits from a shorter 3.06 to 1 final drive compared to the sedan's 2.85 to 1 ratio. The multi-clutch technology actually eliminates the need for a traditional torque converter for improved performance and efficiency. If you'd rather take control yourself, the transmission can be shifted manually by a set of aluminum panel shifters mounted to the back of the steering wheel. On top of that, there's adaptive software built in which matches the shifting behavior with your driving style. The panels work very well, but left to do its own thing, the C63 remains smooth and easy going, especially when the car is set to comfort mode. Its response, especially in the more aggressive drive modes, is very comparable to a dual clutch transmission. Shifts come on with authority and plenty of drama when you opt for the performance exhaust system. In fact, when placing the car into sport mode, the shift points are raised while shift times are reduced by 30%. Sport Plus, Race, and Manual modes offer lightning quick 100 millisecond upshifts along with red matching downshifts. Now we'll go ahead and flip on the automatic LED headlamps, rear fog lamp, and the hazards. Both windows are fully automatic. Now let's go ahead and check out the exterior, shall we? Earlier this year, I had the pleasure of spending close to a week with the new C63S sedan. If you've seen my review on that car, you'll already know that I'm a huge fan. With a tremendous amount of power on tap, a thoroughly redesigned suspension, and an interior that leaves its predecessors in the dust, AMG is something really special here. They've taken the C63 to entirely new levels of performance, enjoyment, and refinement. As awesome as the sedan was, the coupe is a different animal entirely. Not necessarily in terms of outright performance, but its handling, looks, responsiveness, and its ability to consistently bring a massive smile to your face. After a few days of driving this C63S, it has officially taken the sedan's place in my shortlist as one of the most enjoyable cars I've driven this year. So let's start with the basics. Pricing for the C63 Coupe begins at $67,000 or $75,000 for the S model. Both come at a $1,750 premium over the sedan variant. Our tester, which is very well appointed, would stick her for around $91,000. In our market, the Coupe primarily competes against the BMW M4 and the Cadillac ATS V Coupe. The Mercedes is the only offering in the segment that still uses a V8. By downsizing from the previous 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8, the C63 consumes 32% less fuel, even with a big boost in power, making it one of the most fuel efficient V8 performance cars available today. I'd like to think of it as the muscle car of the segment as the V8 delivers a more visceral and raw experience that neither BMW's inline 6 or Cadillac's V6 is able to replicate. The C-Class Coupe in general is new for the 2017 model year. Underneath the seductive bodywork is a new hybrid aluminum body shell that combines high strength and ultra high strength heat treated steel with various forms of aluminum reinforcements to boost rigidity and enhance occupant protection. The hood, fenders, doors, and trunk are also made from aluminum. Compared to its predecessor, the non-AMG C-Class Coupe's wheelbase has been stretched by 3.1 inches, accompanied by an increase in overall length and width by 3.7 inches and 1.6 inches respectively. It also rides 0.6 inches lower than the sedan. With the larger dimensions, interior space including shoulder, elbow, and headroom increases for front and rear passengers. Despite being a bigger car than before, Mercedes claims the general curb weight has also been reduced. With the AMG, you not only receive a huge dose of visual aggression, but much of it provides a functional benefit with regards to component cooling and aerodynamics. 
Things that immediately jump out are the unique front and rear fascias, the pronounced side skirts, and signature quad exhaust tips. The front fenders are wider by 2.51 inches, and the rear fenders are wider by 2.59 inches to accommodate the AMG's wider front and rear tracks. LED headlamps and fiber optic LED tail lamps come standard, while adaptive full LED headlamps are optional. Other AMG additions include a 2.36 inch longer hood with twin power domes, a twin blade radiator grille, an A-wing front fascia treatment, and an aggressive lower air dam. The latter, in conjunction with a pair of air flicks, works to guide air into the C63's three large air intakes and reduce front axle lift. In the back, a subtle spoiler is perched on top of the trunk lid, working to reduce rear axle lift, while the lower fascia sports air outlets to either side and a center diffuser. AMGs are incredible machines. The sound, feel, performance, and looks are all more than enough to excite any car enthusiast. The new C63S Coupe has the performance required to run alongside and eclipse the C63 Black Series from a while back. In choosing between the Coupe and Sedan, if budget and practicality weren't necessarily a huge concern, the Coupe is the clear winner when it comes to delivering a properly dynamic sports car. Compared to the C63S Sedan, the Coupe has a wider wheel and tire package to go along with its wider front and rear tracks. The standard twin 5-spoke wheels are still 19 inches in diameter, but the coupes are 9 inches wide in front and 10.5 inches wide in the rear, representing an increase of 0.5 and 1.5 inches respectively over the sedan. This is accompanied by 10mm wider tires at each corner. The other two wheel options, both lightweight forged alloys, not only come with an even wider set of rear tires and unique center lock style lug nut covers, but they're available in either a titanium or matte black finish. The latter comes with a polished outer lip. When adding the forged wheels, the diameter of the rear wheels actually increases to 20 inches, so unlike the standard 19s, they're staggered in both width and diameter. The Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires provide an immense amount of grip in the corners. On our tester, you'll find two 55-35s in front and two 85-30s in the rear. A three-mode electronic stability control system allows for some added fun by varying the degree of wheel slip, working in conjunction with the limited slip differential. It can be defeated entirely if you wanted to fully take control over the car's behavior. On top of that, a brake-based torque vectoring system selectively applies the brake to the inside rear wheel to assist in the transfer of torque and helping the car rotate through tight corners. Like the GTS, the C63 is also available with three different braking systems. On the entry model, 14.2 inch disc brakes can be found at each corner. Stepping up to the C63S introduces larger 15.4 inch front rotors to cope with the increased performance demands. The discs are internally ventilated and cross-drilled. Both setups carry six piston calipers in front and four piston calipers in the rear. On the C63S, the calipers are painted red. I'd estimate stopping distances from 60 miles an hour to average between 100 and 105 feet. If you're looking to track your car, you might also want to consider the optional two-piece 15.8-inch carbon ceramic front brakes, an exclusive option to the C63S. They provide superior fade resistance, greater stopping force, a longer service life, and a reduction in unsprung weight, not to mention gold-painted calipers. When it comes to handling and overall dynamics though, the coupe has the definitive edge over the sedan. It's not only claimed to weigh a bit less, but it also benefits from a thoroughly revised suspension, including a 4-link design up front and a 5-link design in the rear. Like the sedan, aluminum is used throughout to minimize unsprung weight. The main differences come from wider front and rear tracks. The coupe's front axle is 1.4 inches wider than the sedan's, which is already 1.2 inches wider than your normal C-Class. With model-specific steering knuckles, a priority was placed on boosting lateral acceleration while minimizing understeer. On top of that, the coupe features an exclusive rear axle and subframe design that you won't find on any other C-Class. With a 1.7 inch wider track, amongst other revisions to increase rigidity even further, it provides better wheel control in conjunction with greater negative camber. The sedan more or less shares its general rear suspension design with the non-AMG C-Class, of course with updated geometry and AMG specific tuning. Three mode adaptive dampers firm or relax the suspension for reduced body roll and greater comfort when desired. 
considering its high performance nature, the coupe rides surprisingly well in its comfort setting. Never too firm and just the right amount of compliance and sportiness to remain enjoyable on long trips. Overall length is 187 inches with a width of 73.6 inches and a height of 55.2 inches. It rides on a 111.8 inch wheelbase and has a curb weight of 4,096 pounds. Under the hood of the C63 is AMG's all new twin turbocharged 4 liter V8. Closely related to the engine found in the GTS, this variant features its own internal designation of M177. The biggest difference here is that the C63 doesn't have the M178's Dreisel lubrication system, amongst other more subtle variations here and there. It is, however, still designed and built in-house by AMG and carries a similar level of innovative and advanced design techniques for impressive performance, responsiveness, and efficiency compared to its predecessor's naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8. Like any AMG engine, it's assembled by a single technician from start to finish. A special plaque with their signature is affixed to the engine cover. It's a fully modern power plant with dual overhead cams, four valves per cylinder, an advanced direct injection system, forged aluminum pistons, and zirconium alloy cylinder heads for better temperature control. The cast aluminum blocks, closed deck design, and sand cast aluminum crankcase increases durability. With all of these advanced lightweight materials, the V8 has a dry weight of around 460 pounds. The compression ratio is rated at 10.5 to 1, accompanied by a maximum engine speed of 7,000 RPM. The cylinder bore surfaces are also coated by a thin layer of porous iron, a process Mercedes calls nano slide. The material is twice as hard as conventional cast iron liners, but weigh less and reduce friction. Providing up to 17.4 psi of boost, the C63S develops 503 horsepower between 5,500 and 6,250 RPM, and 516 pound-feet of torque between 1,750 and 4,500 RPM. The numbers translate to a 0 to 60 time of just 3.8 seconds, which is nearly half a second quicker than the C63 Black Series. Top speed is electronically limited to 180 miles per hour. In comparison, the entry-level C63 develops 469 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque, good for a 3.9 second 0 to 60 time and a top speed of 155 miles per hour. Rather than mounting the turbos along the outer edges of the cylinder banks where the exhaust manifolds would typically reside, they're placed within the V in between the cylinder banks. The intake and exhaust manifolds effectively trade places, leading to a more compact engine with improved thermal management as the exhaust gases are no longer routed across the sides. This also allows the engine to sit further back towards the firewall for better weight distribution. One big benefit is faster engine response as the gases have a much shorter distance to travel before hitting the turbos, practically eliminating turbo lag. The linearity of acceleration and how quickly the C63 accelerates, both the sedan and the coupe is so impressive. That flat torque curve doesn't hurt either. When you hit the throttle, the engine roars to life and immediately launches forward with authority. Our tester is equipped with the optional dual-mode AMG Performance Exhaust System. At $1,250, it's a must-have option that really unleashes the C63's aggressive side with plenty of snarls, crackles, and pops. Like the GTS, the C63 also has a sophisticated cooling system composed of a network of ducts and air channels. A heat shield sits above the turbos while an auxiliary cooling fan behind the main radiator cools the turbos off when the car is stopped. As far as fuel economy, the C63 coupe carries a 17.4 gallon tank and requires premium fuel. EPA ratings should mirror the sedan, which is rated between 18 miles per gallon in the city and 25 on the highway. Expect an average of around 20 miles to a gallon. So now let's go ahead and see if she sounds. I do have a pure sound video coming that highlights the AMG performance exhaust in much greater depth, so be sure to check that out if you'd like to be immersed in the whole experience of this car. When that video is live, I'll post the link in the top right hand corner of the video as well as the description box below.
Aside from the doors and rear seat area, the interior of the C-Class Coupe doesn't differ significantly from the sedan, which is a good thing as it's still just as beautiful and combines all of the latest technology, comfort, and convenience you'd expect out of a modern Mercedes-Benz. The craftsmanship and attention to detail is class-leading in many respects. With an abundance of high-quality materials including aluminum, leather, and a variety of trim options that range from open-pore wood to woven silver fiberglass and even glossy carbon fiber, the environment is designed to encompass you with near S-Class luxury in a more compact and sporty package. Even little things like the intricately detailed Burmester speaker grills look like they come from a much higher price point. Of course, as in typical AMG fashion, the interior is dressed up to complement the aggressive exterior. As I've experienced in other recent Mercedes products, the technology and ergonomics are first rate. There's a lot of personalization options and advanced features, but it's all so intuitive and self explanatory that you'd be familiar with it in no time. The driver focused cockpit places all of the vital controls within easy reach. Sporty yet very comfortable deep contoured 14 way power front seats with three stage heating comes standard. For that race inspired feel though, you can opt for these aggressive performance seats, basically lifted straight from the GTS. Aside from full power adjustments including lumbar and memory, the headrests are fixed and the side bolsters are power adjusting so they can conform easier to your body type. I've experienced both of these seating options and while the standard seats will offer more long term comfort for some, the performance seats would be my choice as they offer more well rounded body support through the corners while still remaining pretty comfortable. A combination of MB Tech synthetic leather and Dynamica upholstery covers the seats and many of the touch points in the standard C63. The S model however adds full Napa leather upholstery to the seats, door panels and dashboard. The seatbelts are adjustable while the steering wheel is power tilting and telescoping. There's a couple of two-tone color themes that are available in addition to the option of red seatbelts. As far as storage, there's pockets across the doors, a center console, and a lockable glove box. Along with an array of 10 airbags throughout the interior, the C63S carries quite a number of electronic safety features, including blind spot monitoring, automatic seatbelt tensioning, and the pre-safe collision preparation system. Some of the optional features include adaptive cruise with lane keeping assist, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, a surround view camera system and so much more. So now let's go ahead and shut her up and check out some of the interior features. When closing the door, the C-Class Coupe actually has this power mechanism that comes out from the B-pillar area to basically bring the seatbelt towards your left shoulder and making it a lot easier to grab. In the center of the dash is a freestanding LCD display that incorporates the Mercedes Command infotainment system. A 7 inch screen comes standard while this 8.4 inch screen is part of the optional multimedia package, which also includes a hard drive navigation system, voice control and more. In addition to satellite radio and HD radio, there is Bluetooth streaming, USB, iPod, auxiliary and SD card integration. The entire system is routed through the rotary dial and available touchpad controller in the center console. The touchpad mirrors the functions of the rotary dial and works very much like the screen on a smartphone. In other words, you can swipe, pinch, and even write things. It can be turned on or off at your discretion. Also standard on the C63 is an incredible 590 watt Burmester premium surround sound system with 13 speakers and a 9 channel digital amplifier, denoted by the highly detailed stainless steel speaker grills. The main focal point for the interior is the floating center console, my favorite interior styling element. It really gives the C-Class a nice upscale touch. A dual zone electronic automatic climate control system comes standard on the C63. All of your primary controls are located across a bank of toggles in the middle of the center stack. But for more in-depth settings and customization, you can hit the menu button and control everything else through the command system. Using either the touchpad or the rotary controller, you can go between airflow, the optional air freshener system, temperature, and ionization. This is by far the most interactive infotainment system I've ever seen. You have pictures of the car that move around and adapt depending on which mode that you're in, whether in vehicle settings or in climate control. It's so much fun to use and adds to the overall intuitiveness of the system. With high res graphics, it's just awesome. In the middle, you have two cup holders with a 12 volt power outlet and a small storage tray that's big enough to fit a smartphone. Right above that is an in-dash CD player and a bunch of shortcut keys for the infotainment system, not to mention an elegant analog clock. 
In the middle, underneath the leather padded center console, you have a pretty good amount of space and all of your media inputs. Of course, you have a very detailed driver information system that is routed through the digital display in the middle of the instrument cluster. With AMG cars, you also have a specific AMG menu with a variety of performance data, lateral and longitudinal acceleration, status of the various systems, and a lap timer. So now let's go ahead and shut her down. We'll climb in the back seat and talk about overall space and amenities. All right, so to get in the back seat, you grab a little handle on the upper back portion of the backrest here, tip it forward, and the whole seat goes forward all by itself electronically, which is pretty nice. The back seat is decently roomy for small to medium-sized folks. Taller people probably don't want to sit back there for long periods of time. You're going to have reduced head space and leg space, obviously, compared to a C-Class sedan. Not quite as practical of a space, but it's definitely usable. So when you're climbing in, you have a decent opening right here, but if you need some extra space, just use the controls on the door right there to slide the seat up the rest of the way. But I'm 5 foot 10 and my head is just touching the headliner back here. There's not much wiggle room unless I stick it forward just a little bit, but honestly, I could sit back here just fine, you know, for temporary trips and, and things like that. Probably the biggest limiting thing is going to be leg space, depending on how tall the people are sitting in front of you. Like when you bring this back, the seat automatically goes rearward by itself, and if it starts to encroach upon your knees, it'll stop and actually move forward a little bit to give you about an inch, inch and a half of wiggle space, which should be fine. I mean, that's pretty much the ideal seating position for myself up front, so like I said, it's, it's not hugely roomy back here, but it's relatively accommodating. The seats are surprisingly comfortable as well. I mean, it's, it's not a bad environment. There's a lot of padding just like the front seats. I mean, there's a surprising amount of lateral bolstering up top and down below. You have adjustable headrest to either side. The C-Class Coupe can only sit um, four people instead of the sedan, which can seat five. In the middle here, you have two cup holders. You have two adjustable air vents, armrest to either side, and pretty big storage pockets uh, down below for cell phones, wallets, and things like that. Like the front, back here, everything is wrapped in leather, at least as far as I can tell. All across the upper portions of the panels here with the two-tone, the accent stitching, of course, the little Burmester speaker grills making their appearance back here. It's very, very pretty. Like I'll show you in just a bit, you can also fold this middle portion down. It's like a 40-20-40 split rear seat, so if you need to stow some you know, poles or skis or something small like that, you can stick it up through here and you don't have to fold the entire seat back down. And again, I guess you can use it as an extra armrest across the middle. There's reading lamps up top and coat hooks to either side. But that's really about it. It's a simple environment, a little bit tight for taller folks, but definitely usable, good build quality, and pretty comfortable. So let's go ahead and hop out. We'll check out trunk space. The C-Class Coupe is available with a full-powered trunk lid that both opens and closes. Not to mention a hands-free feature that if you walk up behind the car with your key fob and your arms are full, just kick your foot underneath the rear fascia and it'll open itself automatically. There's 10.5 cubic feet worth of cargo space, which is a little over 2 cubic feet smaller than what you would get with a sedan. There's cargo hooks, illumination, and a small storage net. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the Mercedes-AMG C63S Coupe. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's always a lot more where that came from. Take care everyone.